We get a lot of questions about probability of profit. As Tony can tell you, probability of profit is, we say you have like a 72% probability of profit. That means you have a 72% chance of making one penny, right? One penny on the trade, that's correct. One penny. But what are your chances of reaching a 50% of max profit? What are the delta and volatility impacts of that as well? So probability of profit, pop, is the likelihood of making at least one penny in your option trades. However, many traders have asked us about the probability of making even more money on their trades than one penny, which is fair. And how do the tasty mechanics play a role? So this market measure will go over how management delta and other underlyings like volatility will affect overall profits from trade to trade. Next slide, please. So we looked at a bunch of different stocks for this study, mostly SPY, but we also did gold, silver, Apple, Google, and Amazon. We looked at almost 20 years worth of research. We conducted studies on strangles at 45 days to expiration, and then we changed the parameters based on each study. We determined the probability of reaching half of max profit, which is 50% of the initial credit before 21 days to expiration. We used the SPY as the initial benchmark and then compared other stocks. All right, get your helmet on, Bat. Here we go. I'm ready. So the first one, the SPY strangle. At 45 days, we did 10, 16, 20, and 30 deltas, and the probability of a 50% probability of reaching 50% of max profit prior to 21 days on 10 deltas, 63%, 16 deltas, 52%, 20 deltas, 45%, and 25 deltas is 26%. 30, 30, del 30, I mean, 30 deltas. 30 deltas. 30 deltas is 26%. This is all about the amount of money that you collect and how far out of the money you are. Since you collect significantly more credit for the higher delta strangles, the probability of reaching half of max profit is much lower than for the higher delta options. The lower delta strangles reach half of their max profit the majority of the time because the lower delta strangles don't have that much risk. They're not going to come into play that often. But most of us sell, let's call it a wrapped around the 16, maybe 17 deltas in there. These are 50-50 of hitting 50% of max profit, not at any point, but just prior to 21 days. Got it. Now we're looking at the same thing, but this, how many days does this take? It's somewhere, I mean, just thinking, you know, we've, we've looked at this before. It's always somewhere around the 17 to 24, but you're wrapped inside that just under 20. I mean- I would always say it takes about three weeks, 21 days is my, okay. you know, my standard answer. 45 Delta contracts managed at 21 days are held for 24 days. When 30 Delta strangles do reach half max profit, it tends to be at this point. However, when lower Delta strangles reach half of max profit, it is several days before the 21 DT mark on the average. Yeah, I love this slide because this slide combined with the last slide kind of shows you, you know, this, this stuff doesn't happen overnight and there's going to be some adjustments and other things like that. So a little bit of work here. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go to the next slide. This is the spy strangle at 45 days, but now we're just talking about getting to 100 bucks profit. That's the $100 profit goal is reached prior to 21 DT. This is goes shows you the other way because this is how the higher delta options pay out quicker. The higher delta strangles reach their profit goals more quickly than the delta strangles, in this case, trying to get to $100. The profit goals reach before 21 DT for all the deltas, meaning management is still the most useful form of managing early, is still the most useful form of management. Is there a situation where you would ever put an order in to buy something back at a percent of profit, like at a number? Uh -huh. Like at $100 or $200 or $500? Or would you always go, if, if, if all things were equal, would you go for 50% of max profit? Or would you ever say, I just want to make $300? That kind of thing. You know what? On my option podcast, that's right, so enough every Tuesday and Thursday, I usually will say, you know what? My first goal is to make 100 bucks and then go from there. And sometimes you can do it quite quickly. I've done this kind of thing for sure. I don't usually target a dollar amount, but I for certain would take a certain dollar amount in some cases. In this I mean, one- Many times on, on like, and forget about on a on a option trade here, but we'll look at like make on a, on a trade like this. And we would put up a dollar amount, but we haven't set it really on a strangle or, or anything like that. In this case here, we went side to look at all the different stocks that we researched and the probability of reaching half of max profit prior to 21 days is on every single stock, it's wrapped around 50%. The average number of days held is virtually the same too, 17 and 18. We always talk about like risk being very symmetrical, risk being very similar on lots of different underlyings. And when you look here, it really is. Whether you do the Spy or GLD or the Spy or Google or the Spy or Amazon, it, the numbers are all the same, right? right? Apple versus, you know, number of days held. I mean, they're, they're close enough. They're not, they're identical. Uh, yeah, I listen, they're so close. I would call them identical. I mean, yeah, you, you, yeah. You, they're you, not statistically different from one another. 
So they're all, they're held approximately the same amount of time as well. What we found here is that although each of these underlings have different volatility profiles, their strangles all have a roughly a 50% chance of reaching half of max profit prior to 21 DT. That's really good. Yeah. So since you collect significantly more credit for higher delta um, 45 days to expiration strangles, the probability of reaching half of max profit before the 21 DT mark is significantly lower. However, higher delta strangles tend to reach a fixed profit goal before 21 DT significantly more often due to the higher initial credit. And then when testing a collection of liquid assets with different volatility profiles, we found that they all have roughly 50% chance of reaching half max profit prior to 21 days if they were held for a similar amount of time. The good thing about this is it shows it doesn't, the strategies apply to everything. Like it's not just one SPY or some ETF, it's everything. Well, I want to ask you one question. Will you go to a dollar amount now? No. Or will you will you look at it? As no, that, I that never look at dollar amount because dollar amounts just too difficult. It's too difficult for me to look at I dollar. Feel, I feel a little bit like I feel a little bit like Dr. Jim right now. It's too difficult for you. If I put a trade on, like a pairs trade or a scalp, I'll look at a dollar amount because it's pure directional. But if I'm looking at like a trade, like I saw strangle an apple, I will know where I put it on because I can look at the order in order um, sure. chains. Order chains and. Yeah. There's definitely times when I'll when I'll equate a dollar amount to a percentage term. So I'll look at it that way, but I don't think about things in dollar amounts. And you can look at order chains now on uh, futures options too, so don't forget. 